Sturgeon Spearing opening is almost here. Emily Deem is live with a family that loves all things sturgeon. Hi, Em. Hi, Em. Good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. This is Carla and Vern Gebhardt, and we are in their kitchen this morning in Stockbridge. I have to say they are a very talented couple because look at all of these decoys on here. Hand carved sturgeon decoys. Vern, you started this about 15 years ago. Why did you want to start carving these? Well, an old friend was making sturgeon decoys and I want him to make me one and he said, why don't you go ahead and try to make them yourself? Well, he said, you can do it. And I just tell him, well, I'll try it. And this is um, one of my very first ones that I made. And it's, it's out of oak because it's hard. And uh, I did the best I could, but I think it's kind of cute. I think it's really cute. But look at how it's progressed over the years. Because you said you burned on the eyes, but that had to be changed. These are burned on, right? And now I went to the regular, they're called animal eyes now. So Animal yeah. eyes. Mm -hmm. Well, I yes. think they look fabulous, even your very first one. That probably means a lot to you. You don't want to sell that one, right? No. <laughs> well, look at these papers. So, Vern and Carla have been featured in a lot of newspapers, you know, magazines, TV stations, a lot of history here. Um, Carla, for you, what was it like when Vern wanted to start carving? I was very happy because a guy has to have something to do when he has nothing to do. <laughs> we were dairy farmers, and in the winter, it got a little slower, so he started putzing with decoys, and I'm amazed at what he has come up with. It's very pretty and very interesting. I really do love it. Vern, you grew up with seven sisters, nine brothers. Look at those pictures over there because your family has been a sturgeon spearing family for years. Tell me about how you grew up with it. Well, my dad was a sturgeon spearer and uh, we all used to go out with him. And as soon as I got old enough, well, once you see one, <laughs> you're hooked. You know, you just you hope someday that you can get old enough and uh, spear one of your own. And once you got Spirit of Sturgeon yourself, it's hope for life. Yes, it's something unique. Yeah. Yes. Carla has speared two sturgeon, and Vern has speared about 30. Correct. He has used his own decoys. I asked him which one he likes to use, and you say, whatever one you want to use that day. <laughs> I got a number of them. Yes. So we're going to talk more about these decoys, but it's not just these decoys, too. They make other things, like a birdhouse that looks like an ice shanty. That sounds pretty cool. We're going to have more for you coming up. We'll send it back to you for now. All right. Looking forward cool. to it. Thanks. 